increasing exploitation of marine resources and the continuous increase in world population jeopardize the sustainability in the Big Blue. There is an urgent need for a more sustainable exploitation and optimization of resources that are extracted from the sea. In the Blue Human Project, we are working together to create solutions to these growing problems using fishing byproducts and creating new biomaterials. Research activities are focused to medical devices based in marine origin materials, envisaging therapies for bone, cartilage, and skin pathologies. We know that um, a huge amount of uh, fish bones uh, are produced uh, every year from uh, fishing activities together with uh, uh, some part of uh, some uh, fish species that uh, are considered not uh, suitable for uh, human consumption. This uh, material is considered as uh, uh, byproducts. Uh, usually, these uh, byproducts are used in uh, the manufacture of uh, uh, fish meal. In Blue Human Project, we are trying to find uh, some new application for uh, this uh, material. In particular, we are trying to, to obtain uh, calcium phosphate from fish bones uh, to be used in biomedical applications. These uh, byproducts are processed in the laboratories of the uh, Institute of Marine Research, where our colleagues extract uh, the flesh apart and uh, then the fish bones and uh, dried and cleaned uh, to be subjected to heat treatment to get only the mineral part. Then uh, they are characterized to define the obtained calcium for phosphate. Some of them uh, are used uh, for biomedical applications. Uh, for example, as fillers in bone defects or uh, are also used in uh, coating of implants. Other applications is uh, use them for sunscreens. Here, the obtained powders are treated with laser to reduce their uh, size particles and to change their abs absorption to solar radiation. By using the irradiation process and by tuning the laser parameters, we can obtain nanoparticles with different features. So after that, we use uh, different characterization techniques, such as scanning electron microscopes, uh, transmission electron microscopes, X-ray diffraction, or spectroscopy. So we can know the properties of these nanoparticles and depending on their size, shape, uh, agglomeration or absorbance, they will have uh, different applications. In order to extend their absorption to ultraviolet radiation, uh, in this way we can use them for uh, sunscreen uh, with uh, an improved uh, protection.